In this very short video, I am going to show you all of the basics of the Bufwang UV-5R, the world's most popular ham radio. There are many other videos on the YouTube that you will find demonstrating the UV-5R, but all of those are too long and too boring for most people to sit through. So because I understand that your time is very valuable, this video will be very short and to the point, and will focus on only the very basics of the Bufwang UV-5R radio. This is the Bufwang UV-5R up close and personal. On the top, you will find the on, off, and volume knob, the flashlight, and the removable and replaceable antenna. On this side, you will find the call button. One press on the call button switches the radio to commercial FM radio mode. And press it one more time to switch back. Press and hold the call button for a totally useless and annoying alarm. Press it again to make it stop. Below the call button, you will find the push to talk button. That is the button that you press when you want to transmit on the radio. You will find the monitor button. A quick press of the monitor button will activate the flashlight. Press it again to change it to flashy, flashy mode. Press it again to turn the flashlight off. And if you hold the monitor button down, it will put the radio in monitor mode which disables the squelch and lets you hear everything, including the static. On the other side of the radio, behind this hidden door, you'll find a plug for a programming cable so that you can strap your radio up to a computer for programming, or you can plug in an external microphone or other accessories. On the front of the Bufwang UV-5R, also known as the face of the radio, you will find the display. You will find the speaker. You will find the microphone hole, which is discreetly hidden right there. The microphone is behind that tiny little hole there. This big hole is for the speaker. Noise goes in there. Noise comes out here. You will find the transmit and receive LED. When the radio is transmitting, this little LED turns red. And when the radio is receiving a signal, which we can simulate by pressing the previously mentioned monitor button, the LED will turn green. And you will find an assortment of buttons. Upon close examination of the screen, you will find many various letters and icons across the top. Each one of those letters and icons has a very special meaning, and those special meanings are all very clearly explained in the UV5R user manual, which, since you are watching this video, I assume you have already thrown into the trash. You will also notice on the screen two lines. There are two lines because the Bufwang UV5R can listen to two frequencies or two channels at the same time. You can disable this option in the menu to hear only one channel at a time, but no matter what, you will always see two frequencies or two channels listed on the display. Upon closer inspection, you will notice a little triangle or cursor on one of the two channels. That little cursor indicates the selected channel. That means if you were to press the push to talk button, the active channel or frequency is what the radio would be transmitting on. So if I were to press the push to talk button now, it would transmit on the upper channel or upper frequency. To switch from the upper channel to the lower channel, simply press the A, B button. Lower channel, upper channel, A, B. The band button is used to quickly switch you from UHF mode to VHF mode. That means the higher and lower frequencies, but you could also just type in a higher or lower frequency directly. Pressing the menu button will take you into the menu screen there are 40 menu items. Each item has its own number. You'll see this is menu item zero flashing. 
This is menu item one. And this is menu item two. The Bufwang UV5R has 40 menu items. Some are self-explanatory, most are not. To figure out what each menu item does, you can either read the user manual, or if you already threw that away, you can watch my video that goes over every single menu item and explains what each one does. I will put a link to that video in the information section below. The menus are very simple to use once you understand how they work. To get into the menus, simply press the menu button. You can then scroll up and down through the different menu options using the up and down arrows. Or you can go directly to a menu item number. Remember, each menu has its own number. If you know the menu item that you want, you can type it in directly, for example. The very important Roger Beep menu item is menu item number 39. If you're staring at the menus too long, it will time out and go back to the screen without saving or changing anything, as you just witnessed. So to get back, I simply hit menu again, and it goes right back to where I was. Once you get to the menu option that you wish to change, you simply press menu again, and you will see that the little cursor moved down to the lower line, indicating that I can now edit that option by using the up and down arrows to scroll through the options available for that menu item. For the Roger Beep, the available menu options are turn it on or turn it off. Of course, we want the Roger Beep to be on. So I select that option and I hit menu again. And the sexy voiced Baofeng lady tells me that that change is now confirmed. I then wait for a few more seconds and it returns back to the main screen. Or if I didn't want to wait, I could just press exit. If I have the Roger Beep enabled and some sad ham yells at me and tells me to turn it off, I simply go back into the menu items by pressing menu, scroll around until I find the Roger Beep option, press menu, up or down to change it to off, menu again to confirm, and that option is now saved. I can hit exit or wait, and I'm back on the main screen. If you are in the menus, and at any time you think you made a mistake or you screwed up or you become scared and disoriented, Simply press exit to go back to the main screen without changing anything. The radio has two operating modes, VFO mode and memory mode. VFO is for typing frequencies directly into the radio, and channel mode is for switching between saved channels. To switch between the two modes, you use the VFO slash memory button. And when you do that, the sexy voiced Bufwang lady will tell you what mode you're in. Channel mode. Channel mode. Frequency mode. Frequency mode. You can also tell if you are in channel mode or frequency mode by looking in this area here. Channel mode. If you are in channel mode, you will see a small channel number listed next to each line. If you are in frequency mode, frequency mode. you will find no channels listed there. So while we were in VFO or direct mode, if I want to go to a specific frequency, I can just type it in. So the radio is now listening to that frequency on both lines. If I want to go to change the lower line to a different frequency, I use the AB button. The cursor now indicates I am on the lower line. And because I'm in VFO mode, as indicated by no channels over here, I can type in a different frequency. The radio is now listening to 462575 and 467000. If I want to go to channel mode and switch to a pre-saved channel that I have saved on the radio, I hit the channel VFO button. Channel mode. She tells me that I am now in channel mode and I can also see that I am in channel mode by the channel numbers, channel 127 there for both lines. And I can scroll through the channels for the selected or active line, remember? Little cursor there tells me that I'm on line B right now. If I don't like line B, I can switch back to line A. And by using the up and down arrows, Zero. I can switch between channels. One, two, seven. 
And right now, this radio has only two channels saved, channel 127 and channel 0. If I know what channel I want to go to directly, instead of scrolling through with the arrow keys, I could just type it in directly. As long as I'm in channel mode, if I'm in VFO mode, mode. and I try to type in a channel, it's going to interpret that as a frequency, which is not the same as a channel. To save a new channel, it is very easy. To save a channel, simply start in VFO mode, also known as frequency mode, and enter the frequency that you wish to save. Four, six, two, seven, zero, zero. I have now entered 462.700 megahertz on the screen. The radio is now listening to 462.700 megahertz on the upper channel, the selected channel, as indicated by the cursor there. It is also listening to 467.555 megahertz on the lower channel. Now, if I wish to save one of these channels into memory as a memory slot or a memory channel, I simply select which one I want to save using the AB button. And I want to save 462700 because that is my favorite channel. So while that frequency is selected and while in frequency mode, as indicated by the lack of any channel numbers over here, and because she just told me, that I'm in frequency mode, I select the menu option. And I scroll through and I find the memory channel option, which because I have actually read the user manual, I know that the memory channel option is 27. So now that I'm on menu option 27, I can hit menu again to select the option and then edit it by scrolling through the available options. And as I scroll through, it will tell me all of the channels that are available that I can save this frequency on as a channel. As you may recall from earlier, I mentioned that channel number zero was already in use and already saved on this radio. And you can see that when I look at channel zero, there's a CH in front of it. That means that channel zero is already taken or in use. If I go to channel one, there is no CH, and that means it's available to save. So I select the channel that I want to save this as, and I've chosen to save this frequency in channel six. So I hit menu again. Receiving memory. And she has confirmed that I save that as the receiving memory, and it now has a CH in front of the channel, indicating that it is in use. So I can see now by going through the options that channel six is in use, and channel zero is in use. After hitting exit, I'm now back at the main screen, and it's still showing 462700, but no channel number there, and that is because I am still in direct or frequency mode. So I can switch to channel mode by pressing the VFO MR button. Channel mode. I'm now in channel mode, and as you can see here, as indicated by the number six, this is my new saved channel. So I now have channel zero, which was previously there, Channel 6, and channel 127. If I want to quickly go to channel 6, I can hit 006, and I'm now on channel 6. You can also give the channel a custom name that makes sense using letters, but you can only do that on a computer using the Chirp software connected to the radio. Congratulations. You are now a YouTube-certified Boofwang UV5R operator.